hello guys let's see how to version lambda functions basically when we create lambda function it's created with by default latest version but when we work in real time it's also important to manage multiple versions for example we deployed a function in production and in the next release let's say we are working on some new code changes we can't directly update that latest version because it can impact our production servers definitely we need some mechanism to publish new versions and deploy those versions into production servers this video i want to illustrate how to publish new versions and how to link those new versions to the events in cloudwatch for the purposes of the demo let's go and create a lambda function create a function let's create from scratch let me name this one as a lambda versioning demo I want to choose runtime Python 3. So let me go with an existing role. For all our demos, I have created one admin role which gives all the permissions for this Lambda function. But in real time, we should have roles specific to what operations Lambda performs on services. I have chosen Lambda admin role which gives all permissions to this Lambda function. Create this function. Lambda got created successfully. For our demo purpose, let me add some content to this function. I want to simply say a print. Welcome to Lambda. Let's save this function and let's schedule this function in CloudWatch. Let's open CloudWatch in a new tab. let's get into rules create a rule let's schedule this function to run every minute coming to target we want to go with lambda function there this is a lambda function we just created see this we have options to configure version and alias when you say default it runs the latest version of a function let's try that now after seeing that output i'll talk about versioning and alias configure this versioning demo let's copy paste the description also create a rule i'll pause this video for one minute once this lambda triggers i will resume the video cloudwatch would have triggered lambda function let's check logs we have logs for that lambda versioning demo let's expand it if you check right this is pointing to latest version that's what i said so it's calling welcome to lambda and we have only one version right now and that version is latest version and the response from that lambda is welcome to lambda let's say this code is in production right now we want to upgrade this function by adding some other code we can't directly update changes to production because right we need to do changes and test in the low environments once it's working we have to push the package to the production for such use cases we have to leverage versioning let me slightly do some changes let's call this one as version 1 save that from actions we can publish a new version i want to name this one as release one publish the version currently we have two versions one is version one and other one is the latest version if you check cloudwatch rules let's go to actions and edit Coming to target, right? It's pointing to default, nothing but the latest version. Let's say we are ready with the next version, which is release one. That we want to push to production. We have to come here, choose a version, and select that and configure the details and update. So now, right, our CloudWatch is pointing to version one. From now onwards, it invokes 
this specific version this is the version 1 previously cloudwatch event was pointing to latest version now we made it point to the version 1 and versions are immutable you can't modify the code once that version is published now let's see how to publish a new version for that you have to switch back to the latest one on latest do the changes let's have changes now version 2 save it go to actions again publish a new version let's call this one as uh, release 2 so publish the version now this version is published right now we have three versions one is version 1 version 2 and the latest when you want to move these changes to production come back to cloudwatch edit go to the target and choose version 2 and configure the details and update the rule now cloudwatch triggers the same lambda but it is version 2 this is how we guys manage versions when we work in real time as i said versions are immutable but you guys can delete a version let's say i want to delete my version 1 choose that version go to actions and say delete that version this deletes that specific version let me also show some changes in cloudwatch logs this is a demo if you can see sudden logs are with latest sudden logs are with version 1 and sudden logs are with version 2 so this is how we guys manage versions in aws lambda in the next lecture i want to talk about creating alias